G'day guys. Well, I've been waiting all day for this moment and uh, the day has just dragged and then I had to wait for the camera battery to charge so yeah it's really been building up. <laughs> so finally here we go cracking into the uh, amazing bounty that was the package from Michael, Sydney, and Axel. So first up, um, I know a few of you mentioned you'd like to see the Spanish ration first, um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, sorry Leanne, we'll get onto that Polish one soon, don't worry. <laughs> so as you can see here we've got quite a compact um, wee brick and uh, you know it feels fairly dense, you can actually hear the contents wobbling around in there. So uh, hopefully nothing uh, crushed up or nothing crushable. I'm sure they would have thought that one through. But we've got this green outer bag. Uh, the only writing I can see is on the front there. And we can tell that we have déjeuner, lunch, uh, menu A, I assume. And we've got a date there of November 2014. So um, yeah, we're good to go. Now these um, individual combat rations are, are intended for um, one meal, you know, just like the USMREs. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, get a comparison. This is probably the first kind of, I don't know, exotic um, <laughs> ration that I've uh, done. Now I'll just see how heavy this thing is. Okay, so about 770 grams or 27 ounces. So it's about the same weight as a uh, US military MRE. It just feels heavier because it's in a more compact box. Uh, there's no tear points as far as I can tell on this bag at either end. So we'll just open her up like that. So you can see we've got a cardboard box inside. Oops, didn't want to tear that pack. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Like a plain brown cardboard box. Open from the top. Ta-da! Alright, so we're presented with a information card first of all. Which is totally in Spanish. Okay, it tells you what you've got in there. Um, a few instructions to do with, yeah, it looks like we've got a um, wee stove. Oh, hey, here we go. <laughs> right, we've got a few different languages. That's nice of them. English, bag of chicken and pasta instant soup, lentils and sausages, and lard. <laughs> Mackerel and vegetable, tube of apple cream. Bits and pieces. Okay, all right, so I won't spoil it. Let's dig in for ourselves. All right, first up we have Sopa de Polar. I'm assuming that is, what is that, soup? Must be. Nice. Got some tabs here which are the heating tabs I can see combustible so what I can understand I've got some more tabs and these are gluco energy okay glucose glucose tablets give you a bit of an energy boost hmm interesting it says it's meant to be a tube of apple cream, which is 50 grams. Uh, and though this isn't a tube, it's certainly 50 grams, and looks like apple to me. Okay, we've got individual date codes on here as well. November 2014, so that matches what was on the actual outer pack. Right, so we'll assume that this is apple sauce. Hmm. 
tin. This will be the equivalent to the entree. And um, okay, this. What have we got? One tin. Looks like it'll be. It's in a very fishy looking tin, if you know what I mean. You know, so that'll be the uh, mackerel and vegetable oil. Again, I think we got a date there. November 2014. Fillets de Kabbalah. Okay. And this will be tin of lentils with sausages and lard. Great. Ring pulls on both tins. That's excellent. Oh, I certainly like their tabs in these things. What have we here? <laughs> Okay, I, I know they want to give you energy, but sport crack? <laughs> what is this? Um, uh, water purification tablets, maybe? This is camu crack. <laughs> oh, vitamin C. Excellent. Okay, vitamin C tab. And we have another two of these things. So I'm assuming that these will be water purification and uh, hydration, hydrating tablets. Interesting, they're very very similar packets so just looking at the list of accessories in here, assuming this is the hydrating tablets which is probably some kind of um, yeah, Selino salt replace replace lost salts and the purifying tabs. Okay, sure is uh, interesting when you're doing these in a foreign language. Oh, that's a nice little pack. Tissues, toilet paper. I guess whatever you wanna <laughs> wanna do with it. Oh, disinfectant. Oh, okay, so this. Right, that's actually some kind of fluid in there. Right? Um, hand disinfectant. Like hand sanitizer. Nice touch. We've got matches. Look very much like the MRE matches. Another tab. Hygiene Dental. Okay, this will be chewing gum for after the meal. And we've got our portable stove. And there we go. Awesome. Oh, well, sorry guys, that was a, a struggle <laughs> going through all of these ingredients, but it's, uh, it's actually quite fun trying to work out what they are. As you can see, we've got a real old tab fest going on here. You really want to be careful uh, you know, it's intended for the Spanish army, so they're going to know exactly what these things are, but I'm going to be have, have to be careful uh, making sure that I actually uh, do the right thing with all these. Kind of ruin your day if you go and swallow a field tab. <laughs> okay, where to start? Well, I guess we'll better start with getting some of this uh, stuff heated up, and obviously it's not our normal flameless ration heater. So we got a neat little stove to make. There we go. Pop her in. I'll just crack open the lentils, sausages and lard, just a wee bit. Give it a smell. Mmm, yeah, it smells good. There's not too much else to look at, really. We've got our soup, we've got another can to heat, and we've got this uh, apple, oh, interesting, can you hear that? 
that is not the contents boiling, that is the fuel tab itself. Alright, let's check out the apple sauce. It's, uh, it's putting up a fight. I'm going to have to go with the brute force approach. Alright, kind of looks like a jam. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty solid consistency, very gelatinous. Give it a smell. Hmm, interesting. It, there's not a there's not a big smell coming off this like you might expect when you open a um, a jar of jam or something like that. It's it almost smells like uh, honey. I guess another observation with this meal pack, it doesn't come with any uh, utensils, you know, like you get with the MREs and the spoon, etc. Um, but that's it's not too uncommon. Uh, most militaries you're issued with a mess kit anyway, so you know, just like the operational ration pack, uh, New Zealand one, you don't get anything to eat it with. That's fine, that's where a good supply of MRE spoons comes in handy. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Let's try it. It's got an interesting taste to it. It's very, very restrained. There's not, uh, you know, it's not, I don't find it overly sweet. Uh, to me, there's definite hints of honey. It doesn't stand out to be, you know, if, if I didn't know it was apple, as he looks at the, the paper to make sure it is apple, yeah, it's meant to be apple. If I didn't know it was apple, I'd be hard pressed to actually pick it. It's pleasant though. Let's give our entree a bit of a spot check with the infrared thermometer. To 52 degrees C so far. Wow. Alright, we're starting to get some bubbling on the top there. Let's give it a quick check. Up to 83.6 degrees C. Getting there. It's, uh, it's very soupy consistency. Get an advanced spoon test. Mmm, that's yummy. <laughs> There's still a ways to go with the heating up, so we might as well just get some boiling water into the soup. Here we go, just looks like uh, packet soup. Smells nice. There's not a whole heck of a lot in here, so I don't think you meant to go overboard with the water. There we go. Give it a stir up. Spoon test. Yep, it's good. It just tastes like chicken, chicken stock, or any chicken soup you'd, you'd get, packet soup. So we've exhausted the first fuel tablet with our lentil sausages and lard. We'll see what we're up to. 53.4. 57.4. Okay, I think it feels hot. Give it a mix. You can see the little lentils. But a quick try. Hmm. Yeah, that's hot enough. Wow. I don't think the cutting board's coming back from this one. Oops. So I think it was Winston Churchill said, if you're going through hell, keep going. <laughs> Let's fire her up again. There we go, we're lit. Now, you could probably just eat this um, 
cold, you know, it's just tinned fish. Mackerel and vegetable oil. But, yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't it smell like. Hmm, it smells nice. I don't know, I'm too, of two minds now whether to heat this up or not. It seems a shame to waste a perfectly good fire, so let's get it warmed up at least. Now it's interesting, you've got quite a lot of wet ingredients here and, you know, kind of a, a spready type deal. Uh, that there's no crackers or, or bread uh, type things, it's just sort of crying out for it, you know, to soak up some of this liquid. Let's try some of this soup first. Mm. That's good. Again, we've got the pyrotechnics and noise and hisses and splutters from that fuel tab. Um, so I want to carefully remove that can, so, so I can give this, this other one a little bit more love. Wow. Well, this is heating up. I mean, it got to a, a pretty good temperature before, so let's have a bit of a closer look at it. Ah, hello. What have we got here? Well, this is one of the sausages. It was hiding away. Nice little surprise. Yeah, the sausage itself is actually quite plain tasting. It's a bit of a surprise, really. Um, so let's try it with a bit of everything. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's quite nice when you mix it all together. Still trying to... Oh! Haha! <laughs> okay. Well, here's the lard. I was just going to say, I wonder... Wow, that thing's really going to town. I was just going to say, um... Where the, does the lard come into it? So I guess it's all energy, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to get hassles if I don't try some of this. I'm sure. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's actually not as bad as you'd think for just well, it's basically pure pure fat. Okay. So that big fanfare at the end there marked the end of our second fuel tab. Oh, or did it? No, it's still going. Try some of our fish. Mmm, the fish is good, real, real fishy taste, the uh, flesh is quite firm. Yeah, very firm actually. Firm and oily, smells good, smells fresh. As you can see this, this whole uh, this whole meal's a bit of a messy, noisy affair. So this has been boiling away for quite a while here. Now I haven't seen any nutritional information on these items. Uh, there's nothing on the, the sheet either, this is just simply instructions and contents. Uh, it would be nice too if they, they'd included some kind of handle for the uh, for the cans, because it's obviously pretty hot to mess about with. Okay guys, well things look like they've heated up as much as they're going to, so uh, let's clear off some of this mess, get it onto plates, and we'll see what the, uh, the boss thinks. Is that the apple? You like that? Wow, okay. 
have a nice, nice hot soup for me. Ah, <laughs> oh, yummy. What do you think? Yummy. Thanks for watching YouTube. See you next time. Do you think Mummy's going to notice the chopping board? What do you think she's going to do? Get angry. With who? With you. Really? Yes. Am I in trouble? Are you going to stick up for me? Hey, you little traitor. <laughs>